Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're in the kitchen and it's Sunday and I'm gonna show you how I meal prep for um, a few days out of the week. I don't like to meal prep for the entire week because it can get, again, boring eating the same thing. So if you're interested, keep on watching. First things first is we're gonna start off with a little grocery haul and this is really for a budget, you guys. Um, I don't like to spend a lot of money on food because I do like to go on a lot of trips and whatever the reason may be but I've saved a lot of money um, meal prepping because I'm not going out to eat every day so again this is be yes for the week and we got a four can of green beans these were $169 I picked up these naked juices to eat with my breakfast again only two or three of them because um, I don't like the same thing all the time and these were a dollar they were on woohoo as you will see a lot of my items were i got some um raw shrimp here some canadian bacon again a dollar 49 some baby spinach 189 and then i'm going to try out this butternut swirls and this was 249 um i could have probably bought my own squash and did it myself but again this is quick fast simple and easy and I bought some Alfredo sauce, so if you can't see, you know, with the pasta, um, spinach, and shrimp, I'm going to be making that for lunch. And then I'm also going to be getting my husband's um, food ready also, so I'm throwing out some chicken thighs for him. I will not include <laughs> his lunch with my meal prep, so let's get started. Okay, so first I'm just rinsing off some shrimp. They're really quick and easy to um the frogs just run water over them i have a medium sized pan i'm just gonna add some extra virgin olive oil to cook my shrimp with so basically i just toss those right up in there once they cook a bit i'll go in and add some obey seasoning and this is the only seasoning that i'm going to be using on the shrimp So once those are done, I'm just gonna put them into a container. This is really a one pan meal as well, so you don't have to use a lot of dishes, you guys. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and put my spinach in the same pan. I left some of those juices in there just to give it a bit of flavor. So while the spinach is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and weigh out my shrimp. Um, it was just enough for two servings. So when I say I only cook for, you know, a few days, it was like two days, you guys. And I used my fitness pal to track my calories and this um, food scale here to make sure that my portions are correct. I'll link that video in the eye above. And so my spinach is done. So again, I'm just going in, weighing it out, and then putting it in the containers that I'll be taking to work for lunch for the next couple of days. Okay, and to finish this meal out, I'm gonna go in with a butternut spirals. And the instruction said yes to cook them in the pan. So again, I'm just taking the juices, whatever I had left over from the um, spinach and shrimp, and just putting a couple of handfuls in there, and just stirring them up, just kind of sauteing them a bit. And you guys, these were so good. Um, like I said, someone had recommended them to me, and they taste exactly like what you cook them with. Just like regular pasta doesn't really have a taste, these don't either, so I couldn't even tell the difference. Okay, so I'm just putting those into my pre-made containers and the portion sizes worked out perfectly. So lastly, I'm just going to go in and add a bit of Alfredo sauce. I believe I added two tablespoons, but um, I'll see if I can link my fitness pal um, if you guys want to follow me on there to see what I'm eating as well.
So once I added the Alfredo sauce in, I decided just to throw the whole thing back into the pan just to make sure everything was mixed together. And like I said, you guys, it was so good. Now, just the breakfast portion of my meal was really simple and easy. I just had Canadian bacon um, with coffee and probably like a little thing of cheese. I try not to overeat too much in the morning because I am at work. So I just cooked a couple of those for the next couple of days. Okay, so last time you're showing what I have for snacks. I tried this sweet and spicy tuna, y'all, and it was so spicy. But probably just apples and cheeses and jerky. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.